You guys mentioned in the video beforehand that you got uh, most of your sort of your main contact and what the real world, the white collar is like was from the FBI. But did you have any sort of contact with the other side, the the white collar crime committers? <laughs> and then and was there any sort of advice they gave you that really sort of stand out and how to like be involved in that sort of world? We we have as Tom Barden was a technical is the technical advisor for the FBI, we have a technical advisor for right. the other side. <laughs> a, Simon, I, yeah. Simon Lovell. Simon Lovell. That's who, what he told that, us. Yeah. His name was. <laughs> that, that's I'm what we're Tom calling, calling him this week. Yeah, one, <laughs> no, one of his many no but he does a, he's doing a play off Broadway. Uh, he does a lot of sleight of hand work with <laughs> card tricks and, and uh, he's great. He's great. He, he helps us out in that department every and, so and, and Jeff has an uncanny knowledge of crime. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't know where it comes from. I'm sure he does his research. And these guys, you know, which addressed in a scene with, you know, with the three of us, uh, oddly there was drinking involved in that yeah. scene. <laughs> and, uh, but there, there, there's a scene where we talk about, you know, why, why Neil and Mozzie do this. And it's like... Oh, yeah. So Jeff is just making up capers and stuff, but it's like, we just do it. It's like your fantasy of what, what do you want to try and get away with this week? And we don't care if we're doing crimes for the good guys or the bad guys. Yeah. It's not about getting stuff or money or, or whatever. It's just to feel alive. And yeah. what, what crazy thing can I think of to try and do next? And uh, so that's, that's how, the, I think that's how the scripts are developed too. It's like what, Absolutely. what could be the most insane caper that you can imagine and, and just, mm -hmm. well, yeah, we would love to do that. You know, <laughs> it would be fun. Like, that's what keeps us alive. Well, not that he's that, recommending that thought process. Right. So go for it, yeah. <laughs> Any impulse, go for it. And that also goes, that also goes back to when the writers, uh, even though they're in LA and they think of, they imagine some great location in this in the first ep uh, episode of the second season, there's an interrogation scene that Peter, where Peter is interrogated. And where it takes place is just this gorgeous location. And the writer, you know, the writers just had this fantasy of, oh, we could put it in this office building on this floor that overlooks <laughs> this view. And that's in their fantasy. And then they go to location, location says, Oh, we can get you that. That's, uh, <laughs> that's right here on this floor in this building, and you can see the Statue of Liberty, and you can see this and this. So you don't have to know New York that well. You can just fantasize it, and it'll be there. It's, a, it's to, to, but to, to, to give credit to the team here in New York, and somebody mentioned Russell Fine. And, I mean, we have a fabulous location staff. We have a brilliant production designer. And uh, that when that script was initially written, it was uh, interior, interrogation room, a reflective window, one lamp over a table, Peter mm. being grilled by uh, 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 another character. And through the process of, <laughs> see, I can't tell you, and the process of evolution yeah. brought that to something that we, we refer to as the sort of white collar yeah. vibe, yeah. which is that grand elegance of the city. It's kind of looking outside the box and saying, okay, how can we really tell a story and use what it is about this city that's so magnificent and move ourselves away from a show that relies on the procedural yeah. aspect mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. that claustrophobic environment? And so we wound up getting the most bitchin' blue sky day. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, the, and the, it just looked gorgeous, <laughs> and it set the stage for the whole episode. And that's really constant the the constant back and forth between the writing staff the production staff and folding all the influences into that final thing that you see on TV